Actor Chris Hemsworth, known for his role as Thor in the Marvel movies, recently learned that he has two copies of a gene that increases his risk for Alzheimer's disease by 8 to 12 fold. So he discovered this, apparently, while filming a National Geographic docuseries called Limitless. And this was released in late 2022. And in this docuseries, Hemsworth undergoes a variety of physical and psychological challenges, including swimming in the Arctic, surviving in the outback, living as though he were an octogenarian in a nursing home. And then during one of the episodes on the show, Chris had a full panel of genetic testing done, which is how he discovered that he has two copies of the APOE4 gene, one from each parent. The APOE4 gene has been linked to an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is Anna, aka NeuroGalMD. I'm a board certified neurologist who enjoys teaching about all things related to the brain. In this video, we're going to dive into the science behind the APOE4 gene, and its impact on the brain and how it increases the risk of Alzheimer's. And then we're also going to explore ways to minimize the risk of developing dementia regardless of your genetics. The ApoE4 gene provides instructions for making a protein called apolipoprotein E. Apolipoprotein E plays a crucial role in transporting and metabolizing fats throughout the brain and the body. Fats, are really important for brain health. They make up 60% of the brain. Going back to the APOE gene, there are three variants, E2, E3, E4. The E4 variant is associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's, particularly in people who have two copies of the gene, one inherited from each parent. Someone who has one copy of the E4 gene has a two to three fold increased risk of developing Alzheimer's, while someone who has two copies has an eight to 12 fold increased risk. So about 25% of the population has one copy of the APOE4 variant. Two to 3% has two copies of the APOE4 variant, like Chris. We don't know exactly how APOE4 increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease, but studies suggest that it may be linked to issues with the body's ability to handle fats. Impaired ability to handle fats in the body can disrupt crucial cell functions, such as building cell membranes, moving molecules between cells, and producing energy. Now, it's important to note that having the APOE4 variant doesn't guarantee that a person will develop Alzheimer's disease. In fact, a lot of people with the APOE4 variant don't even develop Alzheimer's. And then also a lot of people with Alzheimer's disease don't even have the APOE4 gene. So this suggests that environmental factors like lifestyle decisions play a big role in mitigating the risk of Alzheimer's. So I wanna talk about something interesting that I came across about the E4 variant. The E4 variant is more common in populations where food is or was scarce in the past, suggesting that it may have been an advantageous trait evolutionarily for conserving energy. However, it's worth noting that the incidence of Alzheimer's does not necessarily increase in populations where the E4 variant is more common. For example, the E4 variant is common in people of West African ancestry, but doesn't meaningfully contribute to the Alzheimer's risk in those living in West Africa. However, the incidence of Alzheimer's is twice as high in Africans with APOE4 living in the United States. Similarly, Southern Italians who carry the APOE4 gene and live in Italy have a normal chance of living to be in the oldest 1% of the population, above 95 years for men and 99 years for women. However, Southern Italians who carry the APOE4 variant but live in the US have a greatly reduced chance of living into old age. This comparison suggests that environment and lifestyle factors play a huge role in mitigating the risk of Alzheimer's, even for those with the APOE4 variant. So how do you decrease your risk of developing Alzheimer's dementia? It all boils down to healthy lifestyle decisions. If you live a healthy lifestyle, you can significantly decrease your risk, regardless of your genetics. A report was published in 2020 by the Lancet Commission that stated that making certain lifestyle choices can prevent or delay up to 40% of dementia cases. So based on that report and a couple of other studies that I found, here are the top 10 ways to preserve your brain health and minimize your risk 
of dementia. Number one, stay physically active. Regular exercise has been shown to have a protective effect against Alzheimer's disease. Number two, optimize your diet. Limit pro-inflammatory foods, such as those that are high in sugar or processed foods, and increase your intake of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and foods that are high in good, healthy, omega-3 fatty acids. Number three, quit smoking and limit your exposure to air pollution because both of these have been linked to an increased risk of dementia. Number four, stay mentally active. Challenge your brain with puzzles, reading, or learning a new skill. Number five, control blood pressure. Aim to maintain a systolic blood pressure of 130 or less, especially if you are over 40 years of age. Number six, prevent or treat hearing loss. If you think you may have hearing loss, get it evaluated and treated ASAP because untreated hearing loss is actually associated with an increased risk for developing dementia. Just think about it. If you can't hear, you're going to start avoiding social interactions, avoiding listening to music, avoiding stimulating things that help challenge your brain. If you're young, reduce hearing loss by protecting your ears from excessive noise exposure. Number seven, prevent head injury. Certain sports such as football and certain types of fighting like boxing and mixed martial arts can increase your risk of dementia. Number eight, limit alcohol consumption. Studies have shown that drinking more than 21 units per week increases your risk of dementia. Now, a unit of alcohol is basically a measure of the amount of pure alcohol in a drink. To give you a few examples, a standard glass of wine is about two units, a single shot of spirits is one, and a pint of beer can range between two and three, depending on the strength of the beer. Ideally, it's advised that you don't drink more than 14 units per week on a regular basis. Number nine, maintain a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese has been linked to an increased risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. Number 10, maintain a healthy sleep pattern. Getting enough quality sleep has been linked to a reduced risk of developing dementia. Aim for about seven to nine hours of sleep per night and establish a regular sleep schedule. So go to bed and wake up at about the same time every day. Adopting these healthy lifestyle habits can greatly reduce your risk of dementia, regardless of genetics. This is NeuroGalMD, and thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.